Hello there, my name is Dan and welcome to my allotment here in Essex in the southeast of the UK. So going to making a harvest video today, you can see the rain is coming and there's an ice cream van that you can hear somewhere over there. Now, going to be quite a lot coming from this allotment so I'm going to get straight into the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so, that way you'll be notified of any further videos I put up. And you can also like this video and please feel free to share it with anyone you think may be interested. Got some potatoes here, variety rocket, planted on the 3rd of April. So let's see what we've got. Good yield there. It's probably about six or seven seed potatoes there. These are from a variety called Jazzy. Really nice potato. Quite like these for boiling. Got to have some runner beans here. Really nice crop off of these actually certainly have benefited from the rain we've been having. Haven't had so much in the last week or so, but uh, did have a week where there really was a lot of rain, but uh, massive crops, got an assortment of varieties here. These are variety Scarlet Emperor. Very traditional variety. This here's a Kusa Courgette. This one started to split, but uh, that's fine. We'll have him. These really are fantastic courgettes. They're incredibly heavy cropping. They don't taste, the taste is a bit more mild than say a green courgette, but I'll show you a plant. You can see the sheer volume of courgettes on this and massive amounts over there. So we'll have another one of these. That'll leave room for the others to mature. Got one down here that uh, I'm letting to get large and I'm going to be saving the seeds, saving the courgette and then saving the seeds for next year. So there we go, you can see just uh, how big this one's getting. I'm going to really see how big this can get. Now these are an interesting one. These are a climbing French bean and they are called the varieties Neckar Gold. And you can see they're really heavy cropping. These here are the Cherokee Trail of Tears beans, which are actually a Native American bean. Quite a history attached to them. They're not ready yet, but expecting some good things. Oh, here you go. Look, that one there. Look, that's a nice one, isn't it? Let's pick him anyway. Probably get a bit bigger than that, but uh, yeah, good. Two good climbing French beans there. Necker Gold and Cherokee Trail of Tears. So I've got a squash plant behind me, it's variety Pacific Giant. I'm growing it into six, seven month old horse manure mixed with wood chips. So it's been planted out about two months or so now and that makes the horse manure mixed with wood chips about eight, nine months old, something like that. But it's growing really well. You can see the sheer size of the plant. So here I have one form there, so it'd be lovely. There are a few more as well, so these probably will be end up being ready around September, October time. And we'll see what happens. Some more Necker Gold here. Quite a nice looking bean actually. You just see them on the plants over there. And got some of the red sweet corn here. This is a red sweet corn that can be grown in the UK. It's a variety called Double Red. And one of the issues you can find when growing red sweet corn in a country such as the UK have a shorter growing season is there might not be enough time for it to ripen but this variety apparently can and really nice looking plants as well so about uh, they're over six feet tall now and uh, they're looking quite healthy actually so you can see the cobs are starting to form and really will be nice when these mature probably in about six weeks or so something like that maybe a bit longer Got all sorts of, well, variety of things. Got some patty pan squashes growing down here. Variety, Benning's green tint. And I've got some Uchikikuri squash. Please forgive me if I've uh, not pronounced that correctly. They're looking very cute down there. So not ready yet, but uh, shouldn't be too long now. Got some squash here. This is variety Verde di Italia. And we'll have one of those. We'll try to have one of those. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my scissors down here, but I uh, don't have everything. There we go, cute little courgette. Me thinks we'll have two of those. <laughs> Got some more double red sweet corn here. And uh, yeah, it really is starting to form some really nice cobs there. And they just look so lovely, the color. 
So in amongst the courgettes and various other things, I've got some cucumbers down here, Variety Market more. They're not quite ready yet. Just noticed another Cusa <laughs> courgette growing down there. So these are Variety Trista White and another beauty there. So far, quite a harvest today. So here, got some more of the Cherokee Trail of Tears beans and these ones are more matured than the ones you saw earlier so matured that something's had a go at that one. So if you've got vegetables like that, or fruit, whatever, half perished, don't leave it laying around because that can attract slugs. So uh, I like to put mine sort of straight in a compost bin, really. But uh, yep, so you can see, got some nice pickings of these. So Cherokee Trail of Tears. There, oh, they are a good one that uh, next year I might have a go at growing more of certainly for the uh, you know hopefully for the taste I'll find out what they taste like and I'll let you all know but it's certainly for the historical and heritage value attached to them and maybe it could be a uh, good indicator of taste that uh, the insects etc do seem to have had a go at the plants and also the beans so we shall see so part of the plan today was going to be to plant some seedlings out that uh, I initially planted a short time ago. I'll link that video down below so you can have a look at what I, I planted, but to uh, see them all in module trays here. So you can see just uh, what I've got here. So this is beetroot, got spinach, chard, etc. some lettuce there, and uh, all modular sown, and some golden chard here. So quite a bit, but uh, that'll probably be going out another day, I reckon now. Well, the rain stopped and it's uh, beautiful now. So picking some more of these neck of gold beans and thinking about the weather this year, in many ways, the rain has been helpful, certainly for my allotment here, because here in the Southeast, we can get some of the driest conditions by UK standards and watering can really be a challenge sometimes. I think last year it was something like two or three months we really had minimal, if any, rainfall. I didn't have this allotment last year, but uh, the rain this year certainly has been an asset. I've probably watered this allotment two, three times since I've had the majority of this, these plants planted out. So in terms of watering, it's been incredibly low maintenance this year. And the fact that I've, I've worked on building the soil, which is one thing I recommend many people do, work on getting good soil so it holds plenty of water and nutrients that'll help you keep so you don't have to do so much watering in many ways and work on that but uh, yeah happy so you can see as i stand here and i look over that part of the allotment i've got to get that sorted when i can give that some time i will but to standing here and i'm looking at these delicious red currants and red currants are really good if i have read correctly they were used as a citrus substitute during world war ii when not so much citrus was getting through but uh, red currants is really loaded this bush here i'm very surprised of that actually because uh, plenty of pigeons around here they seem to have left these alone you know i of course can't take any credit for these because they're already here when i took the allotment on the bush was but uh, really lovely cool yeah They've really got that red currant taste. So, uh, pick some beetroot here. The majority of this will be variety Boltardi. I did also grow some Solyndra. Boltardi is a very good one, it's resistant to, or has some resistance to bolting. And uh, I like to eat the tops with beetroot as well. Certainly some. Very handsome looking beetroot there. Look the size of that one. Very, very tasty as well. So this here is bicolour sweet corn and uh, you can see, what's that? Seven feet tall, something like that so far. So it's sort of like a whitey, yellowy sweet corn. Be quite interesting to see what it, uh, it turns out like. So looking forward to that. Another uh, Cherokee Trail of Tears bean there I've just seen. So anyway, there we go, weather's cleaned up quite beautifully as uh, you can probably see the sky there but I've uh, got quite a harvest here so uh, let's have a look at how much there is. So here we are quite a harvest today so we have potatoes here varieties 
Rocket and a few Jazzy. We have some Red Currents there. Here we have Cusa Courgettes, Variety Trista White. Here we have Verde di Italia. Right here, we have some Runner Beans. We have Climbing French Beans, Variety Necker Gold. Climbing French Beans, Cherokee Trail of Tears, Spinach and Beetroot. When I, I would say that's all Variety Boltardi. So uh, quite, uh, quite a harvest there. So remember at this time of year, it's relatively easy in comparison to be harvesting from the garden or the allotment. Not so easy, however, in February in the winter. So get planting. I'll link some videos down below that may help you with that. And I hope you enjoyed that video. Comments, questions, whatever, please feel free to post below. Let me know what you're harvesting and what you're doing well with. Let me know some things that maybe aren't going <laughs> as good as you would have liked, but there we are, that's gardening. As they say, please feel free to like my work and you can also share my videos if indeed you wish. And please feel free to subscribe if you would like to be notified of any further videos that come up. Enjoy your weekend, see you soon.